I'm Denise with Artist Heart Paint Party. You have to customize it. Make something that you like. Make it personal to you. However that is. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I love his little hat. You could be painting your bunny in. I just saw so this is a pretty spring bunny and I think that nice lighter, you know, softer colors look really nice for spring pastel. As big or as small as you want. Hey Nisi. Hey Rach. Can you slow down a little bit? Sure thing. Actually, I thought it was almost looking like a butterfly, but uh, I thought it would be cool and I had an apple today, so I saved the core. <laughs> That's a great. I wasn't sure if it would work or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. Yeah, I really like that you're reusing the material that may not seem to have a purpose and might have otherwise been thrown out. Right. Well, hi, you guys. I'm Denise with Artist at Heart. I'm so happy to be here with you today to do some stinking cute skunks. All right. So you can use any supplies that you want. I'm going to tell you to start with a pencil. I have some regular paper here. You can use anything that you have, scrap paper, recycled paper, any supplies, use your favorite stuff. You can sketch it out and erase it. I like to draw with marker just so you can see it better on the camera. I'm going to do a variety of skunks for you today and you pick whichever one you want to do and create any colors that you want to make it your own and i just want to tell you a little bit about skunks skunks live all over north and south america in rural areas suburbs and the city but if you see one watch out you may not have seen a skunk in your neighborhood but you've probably smelled one their smelly spray called musk is not easy to ignore. I have seen a skunk and I usually run away. The spray, which comes from two glands near the base of the skunk's tail, can hit a target 12 feet away. That's a good distance. If you're lucky, I forgot the eye. If you're lucky, you may get a warning before being sprayed. If threatened, skunks stamp their front feet, lift their tail, and growl. Did you know skunks growl? Some species of skunk even spring into a handstand before spraying, which puts the skunk's warning markings on full display. Again, I'm going to be running the other way as to not get sprayed. Some dogs are not so lucky, right? Dogs tend to get sprayed. I don't know about cats. Cats are probably pretty quick. If the person or animal doesn't retreat, that means you know, run like me, the skunk aims the spray at the eyes, allowing the skunk to escape. The spray can remain on its target for days. Skunks are nocturnal, which means they search for food at night and sleep in dens lined with leaves during the day. Their favorite foods include fruit and plants, plus insects, bird eggs, small rodents, and birds. All right, so who's ready to get started? Warm up your hands. Let's start creating. Maybe I'll tell you a skunk joke or two later. All right, so I'm going to use my marker. I'm going to start with, and actually, let me see if I have a thinner marker. Let's see. If not, I'll use the thick one. So I have a couple of ones here. So I'll, I'll use the thicker one. All right. So I'm going to start with the simpler skunk here. And I'm going to start, let's start with, how about this little triangle nose? You can almost make it look like a heart if you want to. My paper is horizontal or landscape. And then after you get the nose on there, I'm going to do an arch and around for the head. Like that. So that's the skunk's head. And I'm going to put this line here down to the nose. And on this side, down to the nose, right? So that would be like the skunk stripe right there. 
actually, here's the color. Here's this color skunk. Okay, so you get the idea. And then we can do a circle here and a circle here and a baby circle inside on both of them. So you have the eyes. I'm going to put a line right here. And then I'm going to do a half a circle. That's the inside of the ear. And we want our skunk. I want my skunk to be cute. I don't know what you want your skunk to be like, but I want mine to be nice and smiling. He's he's not going to spray me. He's a cute, fun skunk. So I'm going to give him a smile. But you can make yours growl if you want to. I mean, I really didn't know that skunks growl. I would be really afraid of a skunk growled at me. I'm just saying. All right, so here's one leg. And that's the back leg. I'm gonna come around and back and I'm gonna give him this leg here and then the other leg over here. Right? And don't forget the stripe. I'm going to put another line right there and down and back like that. And now he's forgetting his tail. So we need to have a skunk tail. What's a skunk without a tail, right? So let's do out and around. Look at that. It almost looks like a stretched out letter S. Over and back around. And then I'm gonna do the inside. Like that. So right now he looks like he's floating, right? So we need to put the ground line so he's standing on something. So it could, you can make grass, you can just make dirt, you can make whatever you want, but give him a ground. So that's a horizontal, I did a horizontal wavy line, right? You could add whatever it is that you want to. You can color black and white. The stripe is white. The rest is black. You can make it cartoony. You could do whatever you want to to it. So that is our simple skunk. You can still be drawing yours. You can add a rainbow, sunshine. You can make a baby skunk. You can make spray coming out the back. That would be kind of gross, but you could if you want to. You could do a, you could make the spray coming out and then like put a wilted flower like you you know coming down all right now that i'm being silly maybe we should maybe we should show it a joke so you guys could always turn these into cartoony things right like you could make it into a little cartoon just riddle me a riddle how do you stop a skunk from smelling hold his nose right so you could turn yours into a little cartoon riddle or a joke or a story. So think outside the box. You can create whatever it is that you want to. And you can even make them, you know, postage, like an index card or a postage stamp. Design your own, make it into anything you want. You can cut them out. You can glue it to a popsicle stick and make a little skunk uh, puppet, right? So just create whatever you want to. Just have fun. Let's see, I have another little, the only joke skunks know. Go on, pull my finger. Okay, I thought that was funny. <laughs> gross, but funny. Okay, sometimes things that are gross are kind of funny. Okay, so let's go on to another skunk, okay? So I'm just using, this is just computer paper. Or like what I would print on. So I'm going to get that one out of the way. Okay, so let's move on. So now I'll do this one, which is similar, but more of a cartoon style and it has a little bit more details. You want to just start with the nose again. Again, my format is horizontal. I want to do an oval right around that area, okay? And then right here, I'm going to start his furry little face. And you don't have to make it furry. You can do it like the other one where it's not furry.
In this project, you could actually use a pencil the whole time and just shade it in with your pencil. So a circle for the eye, I'm gonna do another circle, baby circle, circle for the eye, another circle in there, and then a baby circle. Let me finish the head on this side. Arch it over, arch it. There's his little ears, arch, arch. Okay, here's his belly. I'm gonna do his leg here. Again, my skunks are, are nice skunks. I like nice. Not that I want to pet one. I don't. Okay. And now we got to add that stripe on the back, right? So we'll do it like this. This one looks a little silly. Let's give him, let's give him a smile. And then we're going to make his tail big, a big stinky tail. And don't worry if you can't keep up with me. You just do your best, take your time, and you can always finish it later, right? So right now it looks like my squirrel is totally flying in the air. He could be on a rock. He could be doing anything, but I want him on the ground. So I'm going to do a horizontal line. Actually, let's do the plant first. Here's We know that they like to eat plants. Maybe he's going in for some dinner. So I'll do a plant in the corner and then I'm going to put a horizontal line. So it's going behind the plant. So the plant is overlapping that line. And then I'm going to finish it on this side like that. Now he's not floating in there. And then I'll just add like another shrub down here. And you guys could, again, add clouds or a rainbow sun. You could add the moon since it's nocturnal. It comes out at night. Maybe the moon's out. We could put a little crescent moon in because they're nocturnal, right? All right. So there is, again, so we have more of a simple skunk. Then you have, it's a little bit more detailed of a skunk. You make it however you want, right? Make it silly, make it serious. I don't know. You decide. Okay, so now I am going to do this one. Okay, so this one is sitting up. Simple colors. So think black, white of the paper. And then the way I colored it, I did the background blue. The greenery shrubs, I did a darker green. And then the bottom half where the grass is, I did a lighter green. You can change the colors, of course. So it doesn't have to look like mine. Let me see how I, oh, I did it. Okay, so this one, I actually, I'm going to do this one on my art pad. And... Does it help you guys to see this finished one? Maybe I'll tape them up there. Let me see. I'll tape them up here so you can see what I'm going to do. So this format, you guys, is changing, right? So now, here, I'll take this one off too. How's that better? Okay. So he, this little guy is vertical, right? So if you're doing it with me, Change your paper to go vertical or portrait style. 
All right. So after you do that, let's start. I'm going to start right around this area for his snout. So I'm doing a circle for the snout. And then again, a good shape for the nose would be like a heart shape or a triangle with rounded corners. Or you can come up with your own shape and then a little vertical line and a smile. Now, if yours is growling, you don't have to make a smile. Right? Okay. So right on this side, I'm going to go down and up and around now i'm just gonna start again on this side just to make it even so i'm gonna go down and up and around and then connect it let me do his eyes so here's one eyeball and a circle and a baby circle now do his other eyeball And a circle and a baby circle. And I'm going to add his stripes. You know, what? I'm going to go right from that line. I'm going to go outside of the line. I'm going to do his ear. Look at that. So it goes right from the stripe up and then the ear. And then this will be the outside of the ear. I'm going to stop. So again, I'm going to do it on this side. Watch. I'm going to go up. And then when I get to the line, I'm going to do that like half a circle. So it's just a continuation. And then you could add the outside of the ear like that. All right. So I'm going to go down here for his stripes. And then here's his belly. So I'm going to go down and just a little bit out that vertical line. I'm going to do another. This is going to be, again, like right here and going into his arm, hand, paw, whatever you want to call it. Down, over. Here's his back. And I'm going to round. And don't worry if you can't keep up with me. And don't worry if it's not perfect. All right, let's do his big tail. So this tail is going to be huge. Then we'll put the stripes in. And don't forget the background. So he's not floating in the air, right? So it's going to be a horizontal line. And then finish your horizontal line right there. You could do your shrubs right there. Right? All right, this is about to fall off. So let me fix it. And... Who's ready for a joke? Are you guys ready for a joke? I'm going to put the colored one up so you can see the colored one. And you can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, paint, whatever it is that you want. He's a little crooked, but you get the idea, right? Because you know you can color him however you want. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to finish this foot. Like, what's going on there, right? So I forgot to finish it. So it's like two feet. Does that look better? Now you can kind of tell it's two feet. Oh, I forgot his other arm, too. He has another arm right here. I was thinking he looked a little bit interesting. <laughs> but again, you guys add whatever it is that you want to, right? Make it your own. I don't get it. I have lots of friends online, but no one wants to hang out. Do you get it? I hope you don't smell. I hope you smell good. Don't smell like a skunk. All 
our team stinks. Our team stinks. Rah, rah, rah. Our, they're so proud of that, right? Silly. So again, you guys can turn this into your own comedy. You can turn it into your own kind of artwork, however you want. Make it a little comic strip. Make it a card for somebody. Just think about it and think how you want to do it. All right. So get whatever it is that you're going to color with. I'm glad you can't see everything because it's a little bit messy. Oh, okay. All right, so watch this. I'm going to do right down the middle here black. Okay, and then the stripes on both sides are white. So we're going to leave them white and we're going to do the inside of the ear black. Okay. Now we're going to leave that white. This part's going to be black. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. I'm going to leave that white and I'm going to do this part black. All right, and while I'm here, I might as well do the nose, black, and the inside of the eyes. I'm going to do black, but I'm going to leave that little baby circle white. So we're just leaving the paper white and coloring around it. And you could be using a regular pencil to shade it in. It doesn't have to be a marker. And then I'm going to actually color this in black. So it's going to blend into part of his face, which makes it hard to see. And maybe later you, you can always outline it with a white crayon or you can just let it mix together. And don't forget, since I forgot about it while I'm here, I'm going to do this because I don't want to forget about his other hand again or paw or arm or whatever you call it. And if you don't like it, do it again and do it again and do it again. 
You can cut them out and glue them all together and make a family of skunks, right? Name your skunk. It could be Samuel the skunk, Sally the skunk, Sebastian the skunk. It doesn't have to be an S name. I'm just, I think it's kind of fun when the name is similar. So if it's skunk, it could be, what's another good S name? Sydney, Sydney the skunk. Samantha the skunk. Sebastian the skunk. I'm trying to think of all the S names I can. See more. Simone the skunk. Now you guys don't have to keep up with me. I'd rather you take your time and do a really good job. Okay. And I got to do this other foot over here. All right, and then that, so it goes, so this inside part is black. So the middle part is black. Uh -oh. and then white white and then black again so again it's going to end up black blending into the face maybe you know you again outline it with a white crayon later if you want or you can just let it blend together You know, when I see more skunks is on garbage day in the summertime, you know, when it's hot and the garbage kind of smells, I think the skunks are looking for a snack in my garbage can. Disgusting. Oh, I should have worn a, <gasps> wait, let me see. Hold on. I got to go get something. You guys should have told me. I forgot. Does that look better? Do I look more like a skunk now? <laughs> I forgot the hat. All right. There's my skunk hat for today. Okay. Let's keep going. I think I forgot to finish coloring that part too. See, doing the top of his head made me think, oh, where's my white, where's my white hat? How's he coming? I think he looks like Seymour. Seymour. Seymour the silly skunk. See more the smart silly skunk. Now, if you make a girl skunk, you could put a little bow on her head, right? Or a beret, pom poms. I don't know, you guys. It's your artwork. You gotta think about it, right? Sonny the skunk. I love it. Sonny the skunk. 
Sonny the Skunk. So stinking cute. There goes Sunny. Sunny took a dive. That's all right. We don't need Sunny anymore. Let's just bring this one closer so you guys can't see the mess. I got markers and crayons everywhere. Is that better? We don't need Sunny anymore, do we? All right. So, well, maybe I should. Well, we know this one was darker green and this was like a yellowish bright green doesn't have to be you guys you do whatever you want I need to clean I hope you guys clean up your mess because you know what it's so look this is the grass here I'm gonna use a brighter green for that I don't want to use it too dark green because I don't want it to blend into my skunk. And you could put, you could easily put a flower right there. You could make a flower wilting, which would be funny. Would that be funny? Let's see. I'm just going to add a flower. Let's see if I can make it kind of wilting. We could even make like the petal falling off like, oh, be you. Here. Like that. And then we can make it like, where's a dark green? Actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the light green, and then I'll put the dark green stem over it like it's wilting. So I'm going to color this. Right, sometimes I just think of things as I'm going. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it look like it's wilting, but we're gonna try. And then we're gonna tell a joke. All right, let's see if I can make this thing wilt. Ready? I'm going to look for a dark green. We'll see if this shows up. So I was thinking we could kind of do it like this. Like it's wilting. Is 
Does that look like it's wilting? P U. Maybe it needs a little outline to make it stand out a little bit. What do you think? Does it look like you smell? And then you could do your sky blue. And then this part, I would do a darker green, but not like a black green, like a, just a dark green, maybe like the color that I just did the flower. I'm glad this artwork is not scratch and sniff. Do you know what that is, scratch and sniff? When I was a kid, we had stickers that were scratch and sniff. So if it was like a strawberry, you would scratch it and it would smell like strawberry. Or banana, you would scratch it and it would smell like a banana. I don't know if they still make those. Okay, and then again, find a good blue for your sky. You could add a rainbow, you could add sunshine. You could put the spray. How's he coming? I forgot to tell a joke. All right, you guys keep coming. I'm going to tell a joke. So I, my hand could have a break too, right? My hand gets tired. Does your hand get tired? Okay, let's see if I got a joke for you guys. Have you heard the joke about the skunk? Never mind, it really stinks. <laughs> How do you make a skunk stop smelling? Plug its nose. <laughs> P.U. How much money did the skunk have? One cent, <laughs> you get it? One cent. Why couldn't the skunk call for pizza? I like pizza. His phone was out of odor. You get it? <laughs> All right, let's see if I have any more. I think I showed them all to you. And again, turn it into a comic strip. The only joke skunks know. Go on, pull my finger. All right, I think that's just hilarious. So I'm going to finish my sky. So a fame it, a fame. Oh, I just leaned on it, didn't I? A famous cartoon skunk, Peppy Le Pew. You guys know Peppy Le Pew? Peppy Le Pew. Warner Brothers. Okay. That's a famous cartoon skunk 
when I was a kid, I watched those cartoons all the, all the time. Pepe Le Pew. And he was in love with... It was either another skunk or a cat. I can't remember. But I'm not sure if you guys, again, if it's still on TV today. Or if you even know who Pepe Le Pew is. But it was a very funny cartoon. He was French. That's why he's called Le Pew. Pepe Le Pew. He had a French accent. He may have even... She might have had a beret. This is French. And you could, again, write something on it. How about... Stinking, with a little apostrophe since it's not proper English. Stinking, but it's cuter to say stinking. Cute. What do you guys think? Hmm. All right. So we had um, all. I showed you all the different skunks. I just want to make sure I could see if everyone's good. Check out our comments here. <laughs> Susan's here. And... So we have visitors today from the Florida Keys, and we have Susan from Texas, and we have Edison from Willoughby, right? I'm giving you guys all a shout out. I'm so happy you guys are all here with me to do our silly skunks. If you guys want to come on the camera, you can. And again, I'm going to show you one more time. This is the one, and you could do whatever you, again, you could make something ridiculous if you really want to do something silly. Let's see if I can get this. You could do, just so it doesn't slip. All right, this is kind of gross, but you could do something like this. Right, so it looks like he's spraying stinky, stinky stuff. And don't forget, you know, you can have grass. So he's not floating in the air and he's nocturnal, right? So since he's nocturnal, Maybe you don't want to make a blue sky. Maybe it's nighttime. Maybe you add some stars. You do a star like that. I'll show you. You could do a star like a plus sign and then kind of put little lines out here to make it look like it's sparkling a little bit. You could put little dots at the end like this. Right? You can make stars however you want. And then maybe if you wanted to, you could just shade the background instead of coloring it black. You could always just shade it with a pencil. 
that would give it a nighttime look. I'm just using a regular pencil. Right? So I'm just trying to give you guys some ideas. So you have this, this, this is a simple, more realistic skunk. All right, and I taped them all up, so now they're all stuck together. Or you can make it more cartoony, right? And give them a silly little face. You can do Pepe Le Pew. And again, so just think the stripe, Pepe Le Pew, you can think the stripe is white and black. See that? Black, white, black, white. Right? Love, love me some Pepe. Pepe Le Pew is French and funny. So... Yes. So you guys, I will give you the link if you want to come on. I hope you guys are all having a great day and you're being silly as we do our silly, stinky, stinking cute skunk and you can name it whatever you want to all right there we go so you guys if you saw i should show you you would probably get a kick out of my mess so look this is what it looks like down here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just going to show you. I know a lot of times people want to see what goes on here. Look at this. I got markers. I got my little card from Susan who always is sending me these cute little cards in the mail. See, look at how little this is and it's adorable, right? So your artwork doesn't always have to be huge. It could be little. I have markers. I have my phone here it's time to clean up my mess, right? So make sure you guys clean up after you create your artwork, make it into something, mail it to somebody, give it to your mailman, make a card. You can put a little flag on your skunk and make it patriotic, right? A million different things you guys can do. So keep drawing. And you guys know the more you do it, the better you're going to get at it. And the more you do it, yeah, the better you're going to get. So just like reading or writing or anything else. I'm not sure if. Oh, there's Bella. I was waiting for Bella to come on. Let me find my, my little mouse. Hey, Bella. Hi, Bella. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's going on? Um, not really much. I've just been doing school so far, but here's mine. That looks great. Is that a squirrel? No, that's the baby skunk. I've actually seen oh, some. You have? Yeah, there are actually some brown, like that color skunk. Oh, so from far away, I thought it was a little squirrel. It's really <laughs> cute. Do, this, do the baby skunks have stripes? Um, I'm... I think the baby ones do, but I haven't seen stripes on the brown ones. On the brown ones. I did not even know that there were brown skunks. Yeah, there's like a bunch of different color skunks. Really? Like rainbow colors? <laughs> well, I, I guess. it's It ranges from like black to brown to creamy color. I had no idea. I'm going to have to look that up. I did not see that information. And I, I maybe they're in certain areas. I don't know if in Cleveland we have those. No, I think the um, the normal ones are the most common to see. Okay, cool. But you never have been sprayed by one, right? No, I've never. I haven't seen one in real life, but I have seen the brown ones in like pictures and stuff. And then, what about your cat? Does your cat um, go near skunks? No, she stays inside. 
And what about your dog? She is too old to do that. God, I know my sister had a dog that got sprayed once and I think, is it a tomato bath? She had to like take a tomato bath to get rid of the stink. I think tomato juice, I don't know, it's gross. But I know it doesn't, it's really hard to get the smell out. So never get sprayed by a skunk. All right. Thanks for creating with us. As always, you do an amazing job. Thank you. Bye, Bye Bella. That's awesome. So you guys, thanks for creating with me. I will see you again real soon. Think outside the box. I'll see you. Bye, you guys.